Why can we not just live in a peaceful world where everybody just gets along and love one another? I grew up in North Yorkshire, like there's only certain people living there and you know, you don't get that experience of cities like London where it's like a melting pot of people from all around the world with different experiences in life. And I think in Yorkshire, you can see that there's fear of the unknown. So it can be really dangerous because you know, it leads to things like Brexit. Que um dos maiores problemas que a gente enfrenta hoje em dia é a intolerância. Eu acho que as pessoas estão ficando muito intolerantes e muito severas com as palavras. Então eu acho que essa é uma das dos maiores problemas, sabe? A falta de amor e empatia com um, uns com os outros. When we as humans support each other, we can only be stronger. And I think it's about using our unity for good. It just breaks my heart to see the amount of hatred out there in the world. I just think it's messed up how refugees are viewed. But my job is really just to show you guys that we're capable of doing anything and everything that someone who's born in the Western world is doing. Being an immigrant and a refugee for me means in made me who I am and I growing up it's it's a hard thing to realize um, things like why you why um, people seek refuge in a different country and and why do people move around and things like that it's not something that somebody wakes up one day and says, oh, I'm going to be a refugee today because why not? This is just the position that a lot of people end up in. And that was the position that I was in. But that's just, that's not where my story ends. That's not where, you know, my life has to end. I found my way out and so many people do. And I want those people to be extremely proud. I always say I'll always be a refugee, no matter where I end up in life. It's funny how like there's different realities as a model. Like if you were an if you were not a black model, you just get to be a model, get to be sexy, get to be on yachts, get to do whatever it is that you want to do and be carefree. If you're a black model, all of a sudden you're the pioneer for your race. Also, the thing is, we can't go anywhere without someone saying you're black. Yeah, every day. You can't, they can never be, It's oh. like, I'm not just a model. It's like, you gotta be the black this, you gotta be the like, black that, you gotta be yeah. da 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 You can't da, be, da, you're da, an da. artist. She's a black She's artist. She's a black artist. It makes you feel like you're, the only reason why you're incorporated into the conversation is because, it's because, because you're black. Do you think that race is being used as a trend? Oh my God, All exactly. Are you kidding me? Is the sky blue? I get to go to a show and I don't have to worry if a makeup artist is gonna have my color or if a makeup artist is going to be able to do my hair. A lot of my peers, sometimes I see, you know, models doing each other's hair because no one else can braid it, or, you know, they don't have their skin color and they, you know, have to run to the bathroom and do their makeup themselves. It's just difficult. It's just difficult. It's passive in the systemic way at which being marginalized and, you know, racism and like fat phobia and transphobia like still exists and are so pervasive in this industry. It's evident in how it's puppeteered. When you go to a fashion show, you're like, clearly it's a trend because you like see like one person. Maybe they're like over a size zero or there is an incredibly diverse casting, but the gate holders don't look like the casting um, or the stylists or the designers don't. So it's hard. It's about creating a space where you guys are like, okay, Fashion Week doesn't have enough black 
uh, 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 models or designers. Oh my God, let's find designers, black designers, because there's a shit ton out there. What if we put money into a committee that was meant to help bring more people in? Because systematically, that hasn't been their way of dreaming as a population. Is recognizing that we're actually not all the same. We don't all have the resources. We don't all have the means to get to here, to be represented. When it comes to models feeling respected, there needs to be rules and guidelines um, that need to be set in place. I'm happy that there are now curve and plus size models, but the skinny models still need to be very skinny. So obviously we are more inclusive and we're, the images are more diverse now, but it doesn't make it easier for the, for the straight size models. Agencies need to stop making girls starve themselves for status, you know. We're not animals, we're not working machines. We're, we need to eat the right food to have nutrients, to, to be able to best perform and do what we need to do and do our job right. Sometimes when I go on set, they only have the smallest sample size and they just have to cut the clothing open. So it's just obviously that makes it harder to book models of different sizes because the, clo the clothing are just too small <laughs> to fit anybody. We'll be at a show and there's all these photographers floating around. There's just cameras floating right, left, center, backstage. Girls are changing. Young, young girls. It, it doesn't even matter how old you are. You just, no one should be backstage taking pictures while we're changing. They shouldn't even be allowed to be in that space, period. The responsibility lies with everybody. I've noticed that people look to models to change stuff. They're like, why hasn't this model spoken up? Mm -hmm. But just us speaking up is the first step. You need the creative director, you need the stylist, the videographer, everyone there. A lot, a lot to of do these something. questions should be asked towards the people with power in the industry. I always find it funny when they ask us about diversity as if we just. As if we, we said, we don't right. want that black girl or that Asian girl or yeah. that plus size girl. We don't, we don't decide that. We find ourselves sitting here and going through the same thing over and over and over again, you know, talking about these issues. And it really just comes down to the industry. So it's really your time to just do what you need to do because you've heard it over and over so many times. What we don't like, what needs to change, what's the right thing that needs to happen. So now just do it.